in this video we will in this video will study about internal source of finance and external source of finance okay see internal source and external source of finance these are the sources we are already studying the financial management and uh, we'll study in detail uh, about internal source and external source of finance here also so the internal source can be done by starting the capital owner himself he can invest the money which is called as a capital contribution and uh, this he will have a idea that how much money is required like entrepreneur almost always requires starting capital to have uh, the business idea then after that he can go for the remaining kind of things like a bank loan is there or debentures are there or shares are there so initially he uh, require a capital that is called as seed up capital or seed capital initially that idea is required a lot so that is a st starting capital or initial investment internal source of finance next is personal money entrepreneurs uh, apart from the additional in internal capital he has to go for an entrepreneur will always almost always have to invest their own personal money into the startup before other uh, others will give them as a financial help all right so here the entrepreneur what he will do is he will invest his own personal savings money and uh, he can start his own entrepreneur enterprise by taking the help afterwards once that will become a successful kind of things so he need to contribute his own personal funds like his savings are there his deposits are there he has certain gold is there or certificate and securities are there so those all things he has to invest that is also a invest uh, internal source apart from capital the personal money invested by the owner is also a kind of internal kind of source of finance for the business or an enterprise then love money right in case of an enterprise or entrepreneur he will go for a love money what does that means as love money refers to money provided by the friends and family first of all he will invest the capital that is the seed capital then if the further money is required he will go for the personal funds or money like uh, he has certain uh, deposits certificates or he has certain insurance he has certain gold etc so those all things he will do for as personal money then if uh, the capital is also not sufficient personal money is also not sufficient in that case he will go for a love money entrepreneur will look forward towards a love money so what this love money is it refers to money provided by friends and family members your friends and family members they will support an entrepreneur often they have uh, no other ready uh, other ready source of funding after using much of their own personal money as possible to support the startup so they don't have any other sources right like uh, they don't have the sources uh, capital also is used personal money is also used then they go for a love money if he has any close friends or relatives from them also he can ask it then there are certain external source of financing prominent one is grants and startup prize money many of the businessmen they generally look for some grants either by government or some agencies or some some venture capital capitalist they provide you grants they provide you money uh, entrepreneurs can either business planning or similar competitions in which they might win money and other benefits like free office retail space free legal or accounting services so these free services are also provided in many countries if they win that particular competition or a prize so grant and startup prize are one source of external source of financing then debt financing okay this is very much prominent the entrepreneurs he can go for a bank or a financial institution uh, then he can ask them to give him a loan right and the banker and the financial institution will see his all documents then based on the financial needs of the investor uh, based on the financial needs of the businessman the investors the banks and financial institutions are going to provide him loan and there is additional thing like debentures also uh, if he is starting his uh, pay a interest right whatever interest is there that he has to pay to the uh, bank or financial institution or to the borrower 
so this is also an external source of financing next is equity financing equity financing is one of the most popular and one of the oldest form of financing when your business is successful entrepreneur is looking forward for the different kind of ventures and he wants to expand his ownership and business he requires huge amount of capital then possibly it is only by sharing his ownership with the various kind of investors then what he has to do is that suppose his ownership is 100% he can reduce his ownership to 70% and remaining 30% of ownership will be distributed as equity shares to the different people so different people they come forward and they invest their all money as equity financing and this ownership will get distributed here but even though he will remain as the owner because he will be having majority of the shares in the company he will be owner but he will get financing from the equity shareholders right he has to pay a dividend at last whenever they are doing a profit then public offering so this can also done by a company when they are issuing the shares for the first time right so they can issue it to the, in the stock market and sold to the institutional investors also so the institutional investors are those um, there are two kind of investors institutional and individual investors individual investors are those who are investing individually and uh, they are not investing by the help of the institutions they have studied the share market and by their own knowledge and uh, their own expertise they invest they try to take take the risk by their own but there are some investors who have not studied the market who don't want to take a risk so instead of investing by their own they invest in some other institution on behalf of the investors these institutions will invest in the companies so such institutions are called as institutional investors so uh as a businessman to raise the funds as external source what he can do is that he can offer to the public public offering all right and in that ipo is very much popular so initial public offering when initial public offering is done initially for the first time either for individual investors in the stock market or even to the institutional investors also you can ask it then private offering instead of going to the public in the share market you can offer only to the private people like private placements you can do you can sell your shares to the institutional investors like insurance companies mutual fund companies or any other people privately you are not going in the market directly so you are selling your shares only to some limited extent or only to the limited institutions or limited uh, kind of investors so in that case such kind of source of finance which is also an external source of finance we call it as private offering so why it is done it is done uh, to ex- to get the finance and to uh, control your ownership you don't want to expand your ownership in or you don't want that your ownership should be uh, distributed in the uh, what in the market in the public so instead of that if you issue in the private only your own people or only in the limited hands the ownership will be there so that is also a reason they go for a private offering then next is venture capital there are many venture capitalists who are providing uh, finance to the companies like the example uh, like uh, if they find anything any idea very good this venture capitalist companies are there they will invest you in your business and these are the funds which are generally provided for the newly startup companies newly startup business and uh, they invest by seeing your idea and uh, they will be having a profit share sometime venture capitalist like if you are getting 100% profit out of 100% like 70% will be of owner 30% will be of the venture capitalist so that way you can get a fund from this venture capital right for a particular venture then angel investors okay angel investors are very much popular in the foreign countries and uh, these are the investors wealthy individuals they have lot of funds and uh, now when they have lot of funds they are ready to take the risk only thing is that somebody has given some good idea some innovative idea is there and now this angel investors will come forward right this angel investment in the companies they exchange in form of a debt or they can convert that as an investment in future also as a loan right uh, that agreement can be done so they will see a idea of the investor 
and these angel investors when they like the idea of a businessman they invest their money these are rich and wealthy ind individuals these are not the institutions these are individuals who are angel investors and uh, why the word angel has come because this will help them the to the companies to the businessmen and entrepreneurs in their bad time right whenever that situation or a time is very bad if he goes to a bank a lot of interest he has to pay if he issues to the shares or debentures more rate of return more uh, kind of risk is involved but these angel investors will come forward the the wealthy individuals they try to take the risk and they help the the investors they help the businessmen so we call the word as angel investors okay so suppose angel investors in some extent they want that whatever investment they are doing in a company or uh, doing the investment in some business they want some security they want some security in that case this investment whatever they are doing they can convert that into convertible debt debentures or they can convert that as an investment in the company right so that is also allowed then equity crowd funding so equity crowd funding is relatively a new way for an entrepreneur to raise a capital it involves using online method of to promote equity interest in the venture to potential investors so it is a crowd funding in the sense now the market is crowded it is full of the investors it is full of the people borrowers now in that you need to find out the potential investors who are ready to invest in your, in your company now after that when you find it what you can do is once you find that potential investors now you can use some online method you can promote your equity there equity interest in the ventures once it is done those potential investors will invest in your funds so such kind of funds generally we call it as equity crowd funding okay this is a relatively a new concept by an entrepreneur to raise a capital